Welcome to this week's painting update. Um, mostly Afghans this week. I'm going to cover these in the order I painted them. So I'm starting with these nine mounted Afghans from Perry Miniatures. Um, they're all metal miniatures. Uh, they're decent enough. They're not as good as some Perry Miniatures I've had. Um, the horses are excellent. The riders not quite so much and as always with current Perry miniature metals there is an awful lot of flash on the castings and lots of little venting channels from every conceivable part of the miniature that I had to scrape off um, at various stages of painting because I'd get halfway through and then notice yet another one that had eluded me. All that aside however they're a nice enough group of riders they've got um, an interesting mix of poses uh, there's no um, rifles with this lot um, one's holding a pistol this this guy here's got a pistol and I think another one's got one in his belt but I could be mistaken um, so there we go three horse variants nine riders um, I got one of each just so I had enough to make a, a group. As always with cavalry and unsurprisingly they took longer to paint than infantry miniatures so um, I was pretty pleased to get them done. I um, think it took me four days to paint these nine. Um, it's about half, half the speed of doing infantry miniatures. Right, well with the mounted ones out of the way let's get on to the infantry. Here we go, uh, 18 foundry Afghan infantry, again sculpted by the Perrys. These are much nicer figures than the current batch of uh, Perry miniature Afghan infantry. They're, um, let's move him in a bit, their uh, their poses are much better. Um, the shooting poses have intent to them, the advancing poses are uh, full of character uh, and the detail is superb um, and in this case the um, the molding was was fantastic as well as an added extra foundry also included three uh, wire spears for the standard bearer uh, which was a nice touch um, having said that i used one of my existing ones so it matched the the other afghans but now I've got three extra wire spears for something else. When these miniatures first came out in 92, they were the first historical miniatures I bought. So um, really they kind of kick-started my historical wargaming interest. Uh, I saw them in my first ever issue of Wargames Illustrated that I, uh, that I picked up in a sale at a Virgin Games store. So it was really nice to get back and paint these guys again. My original ones um, have long gone. So, um, uh, and to keep the nostalgic feel, I used the original Color War Games Illustrated advert to um, pick the colors for them, uh, except um, wherever they had green, I, I put in yellow ochre because um, the green coverage on my foundry paints isn't great. Uh, this means that they're not particularly historically painted either, but I don't care. They um, they look wonderful, and I'm very pleased with these as uh, an extra set of Afghan infantry. Uh, originally, I didn't choose them for this project because I worried they'd be too small being such older figures, but they're actually fantastic and just the right size. Okay, so that finishes the Afghans both for my painting stint and for the Northwest Frontier project. Um, I don't think I'll be doing any more. So, uh, as a little extra, I also did these miniatures. These are just some rebasings. Um, the flesh golem here is an admin's figure. Um, you can, you can, you used to be able to get them from garrison miniatures. I don't know if they're still trading. The admin's range is, as you can see, idiosyncratic. I think the AD is is part of the sculptor's name and the Mins is, is for miniatures. Um, 
they're they're lumpy they're cartoony they're simpson-esque um they had a m wonderfully wide ranging range of miniatures um i do have a couple still in my collection i have a tree man and a, a sea serpent but i think i'm going to get rid of the sea serpent um i took the flesh golem out of the bin he'd been consigned to that and i thought he's just too goofy not to keep so he got a rebase and he's been uh, rescued the other two are status markers for my planes war set um, and they're for my small confederate set which um, i'm not going to go into now there's a reason i did some confederate to go with my planes war and there's a reason i painted them in old tempo colors and you can read about it on my website because uh, it's wonderfully interesting right that's it for this update little later than uh, than i'd have liked the cavalry slowed me down a bit but um a decent amount of miniatures in the end so as always thank you for watching and i'll see you next time <laughs>